guys, how's it going? It's Sight here, and we're back with another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Guys, in the last episode, we moved my farm over yonder. Somewhere. Somewhere over there. And then I determined we needed more wood. We didn't have enough wood. And I was determined to build a better wood gathering machine. So this is what I've done. Let me show you guys. I've put some effort into this one. Not like crazy. And I'm experimenting a little bit. I made it swivel in the middle. And then I put axles on these edge pieces as well. So these things are just like stiffener rods. But it still allows it to kind of pivot. Just a little bit. It makes it... it I don't know. It makes it flexible-ish in the middle. Which is interesting. I'm not sure I like it. Um, I might, I might make it rigid again, but for now, I'm just experimenting. I want to see what else this game has to offer. So this is my new car, or my new wood collection car, and you'll notice it's got the big wheels, which is super fun. I like them. They're actually way better. Well, I don't know if they're actually better. I just like them more. Then the small wheels. Let's go take a look at the size difference, just for comparison's sake. Okay, here. Oh, buddy. Okay, well, here we are. Let's just. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, let's go whip over here. Now, look at the difference in these tires. Am I right? Look at that. They're not even close oh look at this look at how cool is that that's pretty neat so anyways let me just run you guys through a tree collection thing i've been doing some experimenting with the tree collection as well the wood gathering and i have determined that well so far the best way to set up the saws is to have them actually go into the ground. That's right, you heard me. Into the ground. So I'm seeing this big tree right over here. And I want it. It's going to be mine. So, check it out, guys. I've only got one switch on this bad boy. The other one was getting too complicated. I had so many switches. So we got one switch. Whoop. And now we're in wood collection mode. You'll notice, if I can back it up a bit. My saws actually go down through the ground because I've determined that's the best way to do it. Otherwise, you miss it and stuff. And I made my stiffeners because right now my car is too high. It doesn't actually work for collecting if I leave it like this. So I had to go like this. And this is now tree collection mode. And you'll see right away if I just drive into this thing. This car destroys trees. It absolutely destroys them. I just want to get to the end of it. So if I wrap around here. And I show you guys this. This should be pretty good. This thing shreds trees. Look at this. Zoom. It's so much more efficient than my last car. Look at it go. And that's what happens when you stick it down through the ground. I feel like you have to. If you don't do it, it kind of misses sometimes. So anyways, this is where we're at now. It's very efficient. Look at it go. It just demos these things. Oh, it's just great. Then I just line it up like this, and we just drive. Oh, that's good. Okay. Anyway, now you've seen the process. It doesn't get any easier than this. Look at it go. Oh, my God. Yes. Anyway, let me fill up on wood real quick, lack, and then I'll meet you guys back at the base. And we can try to figure out what we're going to work on next. 
So I'm not sure if it's just me or if it's actually the case. I might be just making this part up, but it feels like this car uses fuel faster than my other car. And I'm not sure if that's actually the case, but it does have bigger wheels, so maybe that's something to do with it. The engine is not as upgraded, so maybe that's something to do with it as well. I don't know. I feel like for sure it's using more fuel. And I'm thinking it's a compilation of a few reasons. But we're going to have to do something about that because I don't like wasting gas. Global warming and all that stuff, right? Let me just finish dumping these puppies off. Okay, now what do we want to work on next? Let me think about this for a second. I do think I want to finish building the farm and this car is just way faster so we're gonna take it i want to finish at least getting the wall up Whoop. and i'm not sure if the robots can swim i i feel like sometimes they do and sometimes they're scared of it, and I don't really know how they determine, like, whether they're going to go or not. But for now, that is a start. I don't mind it. And we can jump over this, so I can actually just finish it off. We can jump it. The robots can't. Should be good. I think. I can't actually mine that because it doesn't work with a sledgehammer. And I never watered this, so that's why it's not growing. But, oh, watering. Watering is going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, I didn't think about watering when I started building this farm. Might be a problem. I might want to change this around a little bit once we start actually going hard because otherwise I'm stuck watering this and I don't want to. <laughs> so we're gonna have to figure something out but for now I think it's fine. I think it's fine. You know what I could maybe do? I don't think you can move the water guns. In fact I'm pretty sure you can't move the water guns. Like point them. But I think... Now, I don't know if this is crazy or not. Let's see what happens. I don't have any bushings. Ugh. Okay, hang on. I gotta try something for science. And I think if I can get this to work, we can water the whole farm. <laughs> I don't know. It might be crazy. But let's see. Do I have any bushings here? Oh, I have five. That's, that's good. That's what we need. That's more than what we need, actually. Okay, so what I was going to do is I want to make a platform. Nah, I don't need a platform. I just need a thing like that. Then like this. And then all I need to do... I just want to see if something like this will work. I have a feeling it won't. Okay, now if I stick this in here, can I push this over? Yes. Okay. Now what I want to do... I don't think... I don't think this is going to work, guys. We're going to try, though. I'm not giving up on my dreams, okay? Let's see. If I build some kind of thing like say this for now and then I put a piston and then I put a piston oh jeez I don't know let's just see what happens let's put a piston on here 
And jack it up as fast as it'll go. Do I have a better one somewhere? No. This is just to see if it works anyway. So like that. And I got to hook it up to a switch. That should be all it takes. Okay. Come on. Why can't I take to get rid of this? Now what I want to do is mount a water gun on here and then use the piston <laughs> to change where it's pointing. <laughs> okay, maybe that's not the best. What's another thing I could do? Um, I could... Honestly, I think that's the best way to do it because I need to be able to change it just a little tiny bit. And I was thinking just now... If I make something like, I don't think this is the play. Honestly, I think the stupid, I think the lever option is the best way, but let's see what happens if I do something like this. And then I just put this across. I don't think this is a good option. I was gonna say, um, if we just pretend that this is the sprinkler and I put it on there and then I put a controller on there, but you can only control 15 degree increments, I believe. Yeah, 15 is his, oh no, you can do less. <gasps> okay, so maybe, oh, if you hold shift, you can do less. Okay, so maybe then, scrap this idea and this idea. And instead of having a piston, I think what we do is I get a controller and we change that. Okay, so now if I put this somewhere and hook it up to a switch and we go like this. What? One thing? What the heck? Who wants to hook up to one? Oh. Thing. Okay. Um. Red. We want 90 degrees to the red. Okay. Now, if I hit the switch, what I wanted to do... Is go to how many steps is there here two four six eight ten so if I go nine degrees per tick that should take us up to 90 okay there it is now I want this to be as slow as possible I think and then if I hit this oh Yes! That's terrific. That's absolutely terrific. <laughs> That's so good! Wait, 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 why is it going so far? Why does it go so far? Oh, do these add up every time? Oh, that's good to know. I think I only want to go nine degrees every step. That's very, very good to know. Okay, I think it's something like that instead. I don't know of a fast way to reset these. No. Anyway. Uh oh. I think I broke it. Anyway, that is pretty good. And I don't know. Okay. Now, the only question I have is if there's only one speed, like so, 
then technically I should be able to just do the same thing. Hopefully with less button pushes. By just setting this equal to 90. And setting it on slow. Oh, see, that's way faster. If you want it to go super slow, you have to use nine increments. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to have to work. Yep. Okay. I think that's going to figure that part out. Now, what that will allow us to do is put watering cans on here. And, and honestly, I could probably put like five or six or something on here. <laughs> and then just see how far they'll shoot. Uh, I guess I should just start with one for now and just kind of for science it. That'll block two. Let's make some of those. We're going to need a whole lot of beeswax for this. So I might have to make a little mini car. Or a motorcycle. Oh, I wonder if I can make a motorcycle. That could be fun. Maybe that's an episode. Maybe we make a motorcycle. I think it should be possible. I don't know why it well, I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe it is possible. Come on, where's my water sprinkler? Oh, yeah. Anyway, we're going to need a little mini car because I want to just be able to rip around the map and gather beeswax. So let's hang on. Let's just try this real quick. If I put this. Yes. <laughs> Okay, and then I have to connect it to the water somehow. Oh no, I don't have water. I mean, I have water over here. Okay, okay. If I just temporarily... Connect this over. Just, just to see. That's it. Okay. There we go. Now we should be able to hook this up to this. Okay, that works. Now I need, damn it, I need a repeater. Make one of those real quick. I'll just stick it on the bottom here. Okay, now if I hit this switch... <laughs> okay. I mean, honestly... I think that's gonna work. I mean, it might not be the greatest. But I think it's gonna work. And then I just want it to come down after. Whoop. That's terrific. Let me just finish setting this up. I was getting lazy. I, I wasn't setting it to 9 every time. I probably will set it to 9 every time when we actually use it. But this is just a test to see how it's gonna work. I'm liking it. I think it's going to be pretty good. Okay, let's try this one more time. Let's make sure the water is still working properly because that uses a lot of water. All right, I'm going to just give it a minute to stock up. And I guess what we could do actually on the other side is have two pumps pulling into this chest. I think that's probably the best. We could double the water input. I'm not sure that will be enough. I'm pretty sure that won't be enough still, but it will be a pretty good amount. And if we have to... It looks like I missed one. Unacceptable. 
but we're still getting carrots. That's all that matters. We're getting carrots and it's free. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to fight anybody. And look at all the stuff I'm being able to build while my farm is just kind of doing its own thing. That's terrific. Okay. Anyway, I think that part should be pretty full now. Let's flip the switch. I kind of want to just... Okay. I just want to see where it's watering. Honestly, I think... If I had, like, six of these things, we could water a whole farm pretty easily. And it won't be automated to gather and plant, but, like, who cares? This is the annoying part. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Well, anyway, that's that. That's fun. Okay, let me know what you guys think of that. I think that is terrific. I honestly think that's very good and effective. So if I can copy that system and put it down over there by our farm, our new farm, we could get a hella crop going. Pretty sure of it. And we could start growing the bananas, the blueberries. We do have to be a little bit careful though because the robots really don't like those crops and they get extra mad so there's that but just to kind of wrap up today's episode i want to grow some now i think i need one oh boy let me just think about this i might be making a huge mistake i think i need one chest full of the bananas and the blueberries Hello. to get I don't want this I want this ooh I need two oranges and two blueberries and we only have five blueberries so I need to plant 15 blueberries and 16 oranges but I don't have the seeds for that so we're gonna have to start with whatever we have we'll just do five and five i think that's all i have for now and honestly that's probably a good place to start so let me just go down here and grab our fancy seeds it is going to make robot spawn i'm sure of it because i'm planning right now to plant 10 crops we need these and we need these okay Let's go. Oh, I'm going to need a bucket. I think I might have one. I do. Okay. I'll just take one bucket. We don't have to go too far with this stuff. Okay. And what I guess I should do is wait till midnight. Oh, boy. You know what? Let's go get some fertilizer. That's what we're gonna do. Fertilizer. Look at this thing. Just pumping away. Pumping away. Oh. Some of these take a little bit longer to grow. And it sends them out just a little bit too fast. So, I guess what I could do is either slow this down. Let's try let's try slowing it down first. But I was going to say the other thing I could do is add a timer to this so that it doesn't send the signal right away. But since it's automatic, it doesn't really matter how slow this goes. As long as it's always going, I don't really care. So let's leave it like that for now and just see how that works. I did grab some fertilizer. Let's go over here and slap it down. Can I just drive over this? Ah, oh, that would have been too good. I think my other, my other car probably can. Not this one, though. That's okay. Let us get the fertilizer out. And I may as well just two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
And one more because why not? So at least there's water right here. Makes this not so bad. Okay. Now get ready because the army is about to come. They're gonna swarm. I was gonna wait till midnight, but I don't care. Just do it. Let's fight. I still haven't built any defenses here. We're gonna have to work on that at some point. But for now, I just gotta get this truck out of here or the robots will blow it up. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unauthorized farming detected. Now, I'm not sure if that will re um, re-enable once this one plants more i know if if you plant more for sure if you plant more in the chunk that you're in no matter if it's nine or ten or a hundred or one after a bot raid if you plant more in that same one they'll come back no matter what even if it's only one now i don't know what happens if i plant more outside of that chunk i guess we'll find out for science and I am probably going to take this car. Whoa, buddy. Because this car... I should turn it down a touch. When I'm not hauling logs. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> there we go. That's a little bit better. More controllable. Okay, so... I am going to just chill here and wait for the robot mafia to come. And hopefully they don't send too many, like, big boys. I hope they don't send any big boys because I can't fight them. Ten doesn't seem like too many crops, but they are, they are pretty high tier. So we'll have to see what happens. But anyway... Eight minutes, and I will see you guys during the raid. All right, guys. Here comes the swarm. I'm not sure the car is the play right now. I don't think it is. I think the actual play is just face tanking these boys because there's so many of them. Stop it! Okay. So that didn't work quite as well as I had hoped. The car was way too slow, and these bots came hauling butt. So... I don't know really how to fix this. I think one of you guys at some point had mentioned something about squishing them. So perhaps there's a way, with pistons, of course. If I build this wall higher, we can just crush crush the robots. I don't know. What I really want to do is get the potato gun going. Even if the mountable one would be fine. And then when they come, I can just like... I can just sit up here and defend, like, you know, defend the raid with a gun. Are these ready to harvest yet? I would love to harvest them. Oh, they are. Perfect. I was going to say, I would love to harvest them before the raid comes. We got 11 orange now. Okay, we got a blueberry. We got enough for a blueberry package, I mean. Perfect. So defending with this car is not the play because it's way too slow. I think it's the big tires and uh, I mean again the engine is kind of weak as well now I don't know where to take these blueberries because um, uh, I think I have to go to that far away packing plant 
And now, for science, I just want to try something here. Let me get a bucket. I know there's got to be a limit on how many of these things we can grow before the robots come as well. And it, I'm thinking if I can grow nine of those other ones, I can probably grow four of these ones. I'm just going to try. We need more oranges to get another container. So let's one, two, three. Oh, crap. I have to wait because we got attacked by robots. If I don't wait, we're going to get attacked by robots again. Okay, so not for science. We're not going to do that just yet. I think, yeah, we're going to have to wait a whole day. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to test that right now. Maybe it's something we can test in the next episode. How many of those things we can plant. I'm assuming it's like three or four. Because I'm assuming these things are double the rarity or whatever you want to call it of the other plants. So if they're double, then we can grow four. If they're triple, then I guess we can only grow three. Which honestly, three would be fine, I think, just in small amounts. We could just have it always going. I could even get an automated farm like this going, but only have three spots. Although that seems like a lot of work for not much payoff. I think it's probably better just to defend. Like I said, we'll, do pr we'll probably do that until we get a gun. And then we can make a bigger farm. I do want... Really quick. I always forget whether it's two oranges or two blueberries. So I'm going to whip over there and I'm going to check. And then I'm going to whip over to that far away farm and see if that is in fact where the blueberries go. Because I forget. I think that one takes the blueberries, oranges, and bananas. But we'll check it out here. I'll be right back. Alright. Here we are. Oranges. Oh, pineapples as well. Hang on. I've only got enough blueberries right now. Oh, crap. I forgot I didn't put the pump back on. Did I bring it? <sighs> oh, no. I came all this way and I don't even have a pump. Oh, well. Hmm. Yeah, that's not the best. It is what it is, though. Darn it. Well, rip. Anyway, I think that's pretty good for today, guys. We are really crushing it, and it feels good. We got the tree, um, we got the tree chopper now. We got, oh, there's a red boy over there. Yikes. I don't want to fight the red boy. Not right now. We got the tree chopper. We got the secondary farm going. It's not automated at all, but we do have what I believe to be an automatic watering machine. So that's fun. And I mean, we're going to have to worry about defenses here as well, because we definitely don't have enough defenses for that thing. It was only like well, maybe not a tier 1 fight, but nearly a tier 1 fight. It was a super low fight, and they almost got in, so that's not acceptable. We're going to need to do some work on that. But yeah, anyways, let me know what you think of all the stuff we did today. The watering machine, the base, the stuff. I mean, I don't know. Let me know how you're liking it. And if you like this video, or this series, or both, drop me a thumbs up on this video, guys. It helps me out a lot. I appreciate it. And... But also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. We're posting almost daily content, and you don't want to miss out on any of it, especially none of this scrap mechanic stuff, because it is so good. There's a pump right there. I'm an idiot. Oh, my God. Anyway, I don't even care. That's it for now, guys, and I'll see you next time.